Welcome to the video tutorial on EcoStructure Power Build Rhapsody. Configuring Schneider Electric switchboards has now been made easier than ever before. Watch this video to discover the simplest way to find and select products to configure and quote low voltage LV switchboards using EcoStructure Power Build Rhapsody. In this demonstration, you will view the following an overview of the application creation of a new project, and the project workflow. Let's begin with the overview of the application. EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody is a low-voltage electrical switchboard design aid software, which you can use to select products, organize electrical cabling of devices, assemble in the switchboard, view the front face drawings and calculate project. You can even print the project content and export the same in various formats. Let's begin by creating a new project. Once you open up EcoStructure Power Build Rhapsody, you can either start by creating a new project or open up a previous one, or you can even import automatically the work done on EcoStructure Power Design Ecodial. Let's now understand the project workflow. In EcoStructure Power Build Rhapsody, a project is carried out in five steps corresponding to the main tabs of the application. These tabs include switchboard definition, product selection, electrical organization, switchboard design, and export and finalization. Note that you can come back to the previous steps whenever needed. Let's begin with step one of project creation, which is to define the switchboard characteristics. Once you create a new project, by default the Switchboard tab will appear. A project can contain several switchboards. Begin by selecting the general characteristics of the switchboard. For instance, choose the rated current, the braking capacity, then select the ranges. Once the selection is made, you can set these values as default settings. The choice of these characteristics affect how the project design steps are carried out. As the next step, choose the products for various project switchboards. Click Product Choice tab to proceed. In the Product Choice tab, choose the devices or products for your switchboard as per the requirement. In Rhapsody, there are different ways by which you can add the products to your project. You can browse the catalogues and search for the required product. Enter the product name and click Search. Here are the search results. Select the product and click OK. You can also look for the products in your favorites products. Here you have all the products categorized under Groups. Select the product category and then choose Equipment from the list available in this category. You can also modify the product characteristics by selecting it. You can delete a product by selecting Delete icon. Observe that the product has been deleted. You can even modify the product characteristics by selecting the Modify icon. This opens up a window that shows product characteristics. Here you can select the required product characteristics and choose other parameter values. You can also copy or paste each line and change the quantity. The product list is now created. Let us proceed with the next step. Next, you need to define the electrical connections. Click Electrical Organizations tab to proceed. Using the Electrical Organizations tab, you can select the incoming unit. Using Generate Functional Names tab, generate the functional name. Edit the functional name or description. Identify the devices to be connected to terminals. Identify the cross-references to other switchboards. Calculate the number of terminals required by selecting the Calculate Terminals button. These are some of the basic options which you have seen. You can explore more tools that are available under the Single Line Diagram, SLD. Once you have drawn the list of products and defined electrical connections between them, you can proceed with the design of the switchboard. Click the Switchboard Design tab. Select the design mode and to validate the same, click Validate Design Mode option. 
This is how you can do the configuration. Next, click the Front View tab. This is the design area that shows the results of switchboard devices installation in Enclosure. You can complete the switchboard by installing additional products, closing empty spaces by plain front plates, or by adding panels and canopies, legends and dimensions. You can take a print of the electrical drawing by using this icon. Here you can choose the printer and other print options and then click OK. The last step is where you can access the costing screen, export project data and print the project. Click the Reports tab to proceed. By completing the project information, your exports will contain all the details you need. Using these different tabs, you can enter administrative information, Check the project part numbers, view cost details for the products, and export or print the project. These are the main exports available. You can also customize them if needed. Now that we are at the end of the video on overview of EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody, you have understood how easy it is to configure Schneider Electric switchboards. Our customers will now be able to enhance their performance in everyday work using Schneider Electric Solutions. With the EcoStructure PowerBuild Rhapsody application, you can select products, organize electrical cabling of devices, assemble the switchboard, view the front face drawings and calculate projects. In this video, we also explored the various steps for creating a project, right from creating switchboards to exporting reports. We are building new videos to help you on a regular basis. Please check the Schneider Electric official YouTube channel to get more details.